Hello. Now, if you're a digital scrap designer, I know you've done this before. You have used a commercial use flower or one of your own and tried to put a pattern paper on it only to be frustrated because it doesn't look right. The reason is the exact same reason that I mentioned in the last displacement tutorial. If I were to take a piece of paper and create a flower like this out of it, the patterns in the paper would warp to fit all these variations in the texture of the flower. And when you insert a pattern paper onto one of your commercial use flowers, it doesn't do that. It doesn't warp, it doesn't change, it lays flat. And so the look just isn't quite right. Now I'm going to show you how to make your pattern flowers look super realistic. And it's using that same tool that we used last time to make a crumpled paper, the displacement tool, the displacement filter. This filter is your solution to most of the realism problems that you'll come across while you're designing. So here I have the start of my flower. I'm using one of the Creative Dreams Designer Resource Paper Flowers. And I have inserted my paper <clears throat> in a layer here. And it's just not doing it for me. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to duplicate this image. Just click OK. Now I'm going to hide my paper layer and then I am just going to flatten my image. Click OK to discard hidden layers and now I have a black and white or grayscale image of my flower on a white background. I need to adjust my levels a little bit just to bring out the contrast because when I make my displacement map it reads the black blacks and whites in the image as you know the grooves, the, the valleys, the mountains and it it's going to tell my paper where it needs to bend with my flower so I just up my levels a little bit to bring out that contrast and click OK and now just to soften our finished product a little bit I'm going to put a little bit of a Gaussian blur on here. I want just a tiny blur so my radius is 0.5 pixels, a half a pixel. And I'll click OK. And that blurred it up just a tiny little bit. And now to finish off making my displacement map I'm just going to save this save it as a PSD file and I'm going to put it on my desktop where it's easy to find and then I can close that because I don't need it anymore so here I'm back to my flower now I'm not just gonna jump in and displace this I'm gonna warp my paper a little bit because the center of my flower is lower than my petals and I want my paper to mimic that so I'm adding an extra step here than we did in the paper displacement tutorial the crumpled one and I'm going to pinch my paper just a tiny little bit so I'm going to go to filter distort and pinch and for the amount you want 20 percent 30 percent I'll do halfway and go 20 25 you don't want a ton of distortion here just a little bit and you can see that helps a lot just by pulling that paper into the center but you still have these spots on the folds the petals where it doesn't look quite right and the extra kick for this is going to be the displacement filter so we're going to go to filter <coughs> distort, displace. Now the default setting for this filter is a scale of 10 
both horizontal and vertical, stretch to fit displacement map, and repeat edge pixels for undefined areas. We're going to change this up a little bit. If you use a 10 scale, you're going to get way too much distortion and it's going to torque your paper way out of place. So we're going to bump that way down this time and put it around 2. Uh, you can play with these settings a little bit, try a few different ones. You can always go back and redo it if you don't like it. The other thing that, I'm that I've changed here is for undefined areas, you don't want to repeat edge pixels. You're going to put wrap around because if you repeat the edge pixels, you're going to get a funky effect along the edge of your flower. So make sure to click wrap around for undefined areas. And once you do that, click OK. Now a dialog box comes up here. You're going to navigate to where your displacement map is, where you saved that last file, and just click open and there you go. Now what this did, when you zoom in, you can see that where there are hills and valleys in our flower, it has now distorted my pattern to follow them. And it has added so much realism to this flower that it's just unbelievable. It looks so much better. So give this tutorial a try and make your flowers and your elements look like they are jumping off your scrapbook pages. Have a good time.